Hey guys, so it is week one of me being on minoxidil. So since not much change has gone on in one week, I thought I would just kind of do a little um, educational video for you guys because you know I like to look stuff up and then just like, you know, spread the love. So let's talk about what um, shedding is. Now, now, what happens when people start minoxidil is a lot of times they get discouraged because they don't see any results like in within the, the first couple of weeks and they're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Another mistake they do if they're on it a little longer is they see shedding, which is actually, you know, seems like your hair is falling out. And what you need to know is that your hair grows in a cyclical fashion. There's a growth period that lasts about four to seven years. And then there's a resting period that lasts about um, three months. So now when you're using minoxidil, the same type of thing happens because during that resting period is when your hair kind of um, falls out and the, let, to let the regrowth grow in. So it's kind of like you know, when you're losing your baby teeth and then, you know, it leaves room for your big teeth to grow in. So that, that's what happens when you get on an oxidil. Okay, so like when, within the first two, maybe three weeks, you might see some shedding. Now, this doesn't happen with everybody, but with a, a lot of people it does. Like with me, I feel that my mustache has gotten thinner since I started minoxidil just in the first week. But I'm not going to freak out because that's probably the shedding period. And after this two week, two to three week period, um, once, you know, those spine hairs go away, that'll leave room for the thicker hairs to be pushed through. And then all of a sudden, you know, by month four, five, six, you're going to see like tons of regrowth. So another thing that is kind of recommended when you're on um, hair treatment regimen is to use um, shampoos that have um, ketoconazole in it. Now ketoconazole is actually an antifungal and I can't use antifungals because I'm allergic to them so um, that's not for me but they say that you're supposed to use that about three times a week. So what I use is I just um, get like some organic um, hair thickening shampoos and um, so this is Avalon Organics and this is um, Celluplex and it's just made with all kinds of you know leaves and stuff I don't know another thing that happens is that your hair your actually your face can uh, dry out and get flaky now I just started seeing this today um, not sure if it's the minoxidil drying out and that's what I'm seeing or if it's my skin flaking but at any rate everybody should be moisturizing their skin and you should use an oil free based moisturizer so I use this Avena clear complexion and uh, just apply that every day and uh, go about your business let me show you uh, what I have noticed actually within the first week is you know I have this minimal sole patch here but there's peach fuzz go growing in around this area here. So you won't be able to see it probably. I can get close to the screen, but what I was saying is, and I feel like my mustache has gotten a little bit thinner right here. Um, but I do feel like this is one of my points that I wanted to grow in. It, this was totally bald and actually I see a lot of hair growth right there. I see a lot of hair growth on the chin. Um, down here too, it just goes in a line. It's a little, it's a little patchy right here. Here's pretty full. Um, and then again, I have the patchiness. I want this to grow in and connect and possibly fill in here. And this needs to connect and fill in some patchiness around here. So that's kind of, you know, what we're going to be looking for and what I hope to happen. Okay, so basically this is the top of my head after one week of using minoxidil. Um, 
I'll show you a picture right over here last week, what the top of my head looked like. So basically it's just a little bit of thinning right here. And on the side of my head, this is thinning here. Not so much over here, but I see some real thinning right up in here. So I kind of want to nip that in the bud um, before it gets too great. So the process that I use is, you know, with, with the minoxidil, you get this one milliliter dropper and I'll take the one mil and I'll put it on my scalp at the crown of my head and then I'll bring it along, along the side here and along the side here. And then I'll take an extra like quarter mil and I'll just rub it on the places on my beard and mustache that are um, in need of some attention. So I'm not using, you know, they say you're only supposed to use one mil, but I'm not just using the one mil on my head, I'm using it, you know, down here. Now, as for side effects of the minoxidil, they say it lowers your blood pressure. Um, if it does, great, because we have yet to find a blood pressure medication that can help me lower my blood pressure, um, which is also hereditary because I work out like crazy and I eat right. So um, I think it might have lowered it a little bit, but I haven't felt any uh, side effects from the minoxidil that are negative. So I should be posting a video, I would say, about every uh, Sunday or so. Maybe Saturday. I don't know. But, you know, every week. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.